my! Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Whoa, it's, it's even better than on TV! Way better! Better than I ever imagined! Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh! I really feel alive! Hey, Sons! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. How does he know? That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes, I will. And we will live in peace together. Look at that, we came from the mountains and then right there you see the human civilization already. And we will bridge that gap. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression! Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See ya guys! Hey, you're not even going the right way. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Oh, it's cause Sans is being lazy again. <laughs> And I wait up. Whoops. Mm. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you or I have places to go. Mm, well, really what I think is, it's a mix of them both. I want to go to places with you. That's what I really want. This is implying that we will separate from Toriel and go on our own journey. Which is nice on its own, but we're like a 10 year old kid and we really haven't spent that much time with Toriel. I want to stay with you. The whole thing with Frisk's real human family. I don't know. If a family really cared about their kid, would they really let the kid run around on a mountain on, by themselves? I don't know. I mean, I guess we're pretty much left to think whatever we think of their family but we really don't know much at all and we know that Toriel is the best mom and I want to spend a lot of time with her at least for now what? Frisk you really are a funny child if you had said that earlier none of this would have happened oh that's so true we would have all been trapped underground but no, in the beginning, we were like, I want to go home, I want to go home. Oh. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Is it really over? Professional frog, braver every day. Oh! Everybody is so unique. B backup dancer, reformed bully. Luke's! 
popular nutritionist casually enjoys life. Naps that look. Spooky DJ. Oh yeah, look at that dapper hat. Whoa! Even the bird from Waterfall. Feels like I've spent a million years on this game already. <laughs> Snow Drake, Ice Cap. Still looking for laughs, thinking about his hat. Gift Trot! Doggo! Christmas display has his own seeing dog. Seeing eye dog. Doggummy and Dogaressa. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Oh, because. Oriole and Asgore aren't anymore. <laughs> Lesser dog, greater dog. Searching for affection, unaware of life's changes. Hey, there's that stupid white dog. Oh? Oh? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Undyne? Undyne? <laughs> Aaron, Moldvig. <laughs> Paranormal investigator. Idyllic life on the beach. Washua. Legendary janitor. Temi. Temi. <laughs> Mad dummy. Calm down just a bit. Shiren, talking piano taking piano lessons again. Why is Temi looking this way? <gasps> Pay attention to the show, Temi. Alright, we got the DJ, Napsap Look, Shiren, Backup Dancer, Metaton, Main Star, One True Idol, and then Burger Pass. <laughs> Vulcan. Sooner Plane. Encouraging Space Heater. Finally confesses. What? I don't. Pyrope. Muffet. Candle in the world's largest birthday cake. Spider success with a new bakery. Royal Guards. Use your imagination. <laughs> Final Froggit. Giving life its own meaning. Whimsalot, the long battle finally ending. Astigmatism. Domineering glasses seller. <laughs> it's like their life on the surface, huh? Magic. Street magician. Night night. Taking a well deserved nap. Amalgamates. Ooh. Living with their families, thinking about sticks. Hey, Asgore. Oh, nice papyrus bush you got there. Oh, <gasps> are they living together? Oh! It's a school! Toriel wanted to become a teacher, remember? What? What now? What? What? <laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Oh, he scared me. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa! Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I- Am I supposed to be- I don't think I want to get hit, right? Holy crap. Whoa! Ah! Okay, we gotta stay here. I think we got hit already! There's a lot of names in the special- Thanks! Woo! Can't talk, talk to you later.
Oh my god. Oh no! Oh! No! Why are the names so long? Oh my- Oh my god. God damn you, Nicholas! You long ass name! Oh, oh! 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 Should I not have touched any of them or touched all of them? Thanks to friends and family for supporting us and Undertale team. Thanks to you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Whoa, are we really at the end this time? I think so. Nothing else to do. Okay, so I guess I should give a little bit of thoughts on my experience with this. Holy crap. This was a journey of epic proportions. <laughs> I don't think I could have expected this when I went into the game. You know, I was checking out the Steam reviews again today. And the top listed most helpful one was talking about how the only reason you don't want to try this game right now is probably because it's so hyped. But I tried it out and it is absolute perfection. And I think that review is just so right. Probably a lot of people that don't know about Undertale are thinking, Oh my god, why are they being so noisy? Them being the fandom, the Undertale fandom. Being so noisy about this game, why won't they pass already? Blah blah blah. But, oh... Like, we all have favorite games. But I think at the same time, it's probably very easy for us to point out flaws in all of our favorite games. A game doesn't have to be perfect for you to like it, right? But Undertale... I don't know if it's the hype speaking or the feel-good feelings right after finishing this nice run, but I felt like it came extremely, extremely close to perfection, if not absolute perfection. I can't say a bad thing about it, there was not a single bad thing! Usually when you go through a game, you can acknowledge that it was really good, but you might have something to say about it, like, oh, but they could probably have improved that part better. And I really can't think of a single thing. Like, maybe if I was nitpicking, I would say that the ruins was probably a little bit more bland compared to the rest of the game. But even that is really nitpicking. Oh, this was really something else. I looked it up a little bit, and Undertale was apparently... I'm sure you guys all know this already, but Undertale was apparently a Kickstarter in 2013. So it got all the money and then just kind of went under the radar until now when it was released, and BOOM! Look at this, it's really a masterpiece. Easily, easily. Game of the year, at least for me personally. And so late into the year too. I'm playing this and it's December right now, so... Wow. I guess, without rambling too much, I really, really enjoyed the experience. The excellence that this game achieved could not- could never be done by a AAA title. The amount of heart and love it had was just insane. And I feel so touched just thinking that a developer put so much heart and passion into their work. And it must be something that has come across to a lot of people because Undertale is all the rage right now. Really, a wonderful experience. And again, I'd really like to thank the people that recommended this game to me. This became kind of close to being a title that I, I know of by name, but never tried. But a lot of people were talking about this game again and again, and I was just like, okay, fine, fine, I'll try it. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad. I'm gonna ramble if I keep going on, so let's try to cut this short. 
Uh, regarding genocide or no mercy run, I think I would like to try it just to see what happens. But at the same time, it's like, I already got the best ending possible, right? Why am I going back to the shittiest ending possible? Well, I don't know what the ending is. I just assume it's going to be shitty because, well, how can it be not shitty if we're killing everybody? Like, as a gamer, I just feel like it's strange to be putting aside a game that I really like. And there's additional content that I haven't discovered yet, right? So from that standpoint, I really want to try it out. And then from the I love Undertale standpoint, I'm like, no, my children, my mom, my dad, my friends. So <laughs> I would say give me a few days. I've been doing one Undertale video a day for a while now. So probably if you're watching this on the day I put this out, don't expect anything for the weekend. I think this is going to be out on the Friday, so don't expect anything on the weekend. Maybe after that, I'll try and see if I can get something going on. It's a scary commitment to be making, but I'll try my best. I don't know what's going to happen. Lastly, I guess I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed your time watching my particular reactions and playthrough. I really had a great time with this and... Hopefully, I will see you all in the next one then. I'll see you all in another place in another time. Bye!